Hello everybody, this is part 2. In the previous lecture we learned how to grab title and also summary content from our website. Now let's go back to our website. And what we need more, we, here we have a picture, right? And also we, I want to grab this, part, uh, this picture from the website. How can I do that? Again, let's say, right click and inspect here. Let's check it. The picture is here, right? It is it is here okay as you see now it's my picture is here and it, it is between span class image and uh, here right and okay I can say it is between here image uh, class right and it has another attribute its name is SRC so how can I use uh, how can I get this uh, picture to do that I need to say here image I will create another variable and I will say div the dot Im, uh, image dot get and src why you may maybe you are you might thinking why I said div dot image dot get src here let's go back to our website okay uh, download that cnet it is where is it it must be here yes it's here and uh, here also we have another example of, uh, between this tag a tag if you have a tag okay it is a and it ends it's where it ends I think it ends here okay if you have a tag and if the tag is this is already the child tag right it is not parenting it doesn't have any attribute like between this tag we don't have another tag we have only some attributes like class href here if you want to get a something from this between these tags okay from for example this a tag you need to use get because there is no another tag here if you don't have tag and if you want to uh, grab something between this tag you need to use if it is not a tag you need to use get function okay it's here same we have image tag it's here and uh, ends also here okay it's open image and close you we close it here if you want to grab here src or the alt the best free facebook and messenger games also we can grab this uh, this guy we need to use get function to do that okay for example here for do something else and uh, for our div it's parent class okay but this is also tag and the other one is a is also tag but image is also tag but the src is not a tag that's why if it is not a tag and it's something between a tag okay we need to use get function okay if it is not a tag let's go back to our, our example and here and let's run it now and actually we need to print it out right i will say print image okay img as you see now I have my image uh, links for my image let's click so as you see it's also working now here let's go back to here sorry here now we ha okay this is title this is content and this is image let's use here a separator okay I will say print and for my separate here like that I think it will be better if we do it something like that sometimes it can be slow it, it depends on your internet connection or the website okay now yes it's fine it is also working our title and the, the, that one is our uh, content and that one is our uh, link for our picture okay and also I want to show you something here as you see now I, I'm getting some errors sometimes it, for it says it's line 13 in uh, module title is non type object has no attribute text this is normal if you are working with beautiful soup library because sometimes some some text maybe they don't have uh, attribute for it as as you see say object has no attribute text so this is some for the some text this this is 
uh, normal okay some uh, you have many tags here maybe one of them is they uh, it doesn't have this uh, object that's why you can get this error of course we can solve this error too how we can do it we need to use here try right and here what i need to do i need to come here and say and then like that tap okay and here i will say try and catch right try accept sorry accept okay and for the except i can say only pass okay that's this is enough and now if i run it i will not get this error anymore as you see i didn't get i didn't get this error uh, and with if i use try and accept logs uh, then what is next as you remember we said also we will come to here now our this is our title if i want to read if i want to grab all the full content how can i do that for example if i click this link and i will go to the full content sorry my internet is not good or website i don't know is our content is here now as you see we have a content the full content is here right and until it is here and how can i grab this full content from the website this is also what we need to do we need to come back here and we need to here create a link okay for our uh, article and after that we need to create a new request because beautiful soup library it works it you have to create a, a request for each website okay the first one we work with main page okay and we grab all the informations uh, from main page if you want to grab information from from another uh, page you need to create a new request to do that here firstly i need to grab i need to find the articles link and after that i need to create a new request and also soup object and after that i can grab this information like i did before okay with these functions and here firstly what i, I need to do i need to find my link for my content okay and here i will say link is equal to div that here a dot get and i will say here high ref let's check it why i'm doing like that here because if i go back and here if i say inspect okay and we will see it's where is it it is must be it's here we need to open it okay and uh, that one and here that one is okay and i think it's that one okay so our link is it must be here let's check it and here yes my link is here as you see it is between a tag and the is guides best free if i click this one i will go to do that link but of course also this link is short as you see but the full link is here you can read it now download.cnet.com guys best free facebook games and for facebook and messenger if i grab this link after that i can add download.cnet.com and slash and after that if i add this link to my uh, main page link that means i can grab i can get i can have full link okay so how can i do that to grab this one as i said like for my image div dot a dot get high ref because like before i explained it here a is only one tag right and it has some attributes first one is class another one is high ref if i want to grab the high ref i need to use again get method here okay and uh, here what i need to do i need to create a new response 
content and also sub object okay like before and i will say here response to okay is equal to request dot get for the url i will say here firstly i need to copy this guy okay paste it here and i need to say here plus my link okay because my link is only uh, it was not full link right and after that here i will say content to is equal to response to that content and i will create my soup object soup two is equal to beautiful soup and here i will say content to and my parser is l xml parser okay and now i need to create another item like here okay i am repeating actually my codes by i need to create new variables and uh, okay uh, it's like before i will say here for the item item 2 item 2 is equal to sub 2 because this now my sub object is sub 2 that, right sub 2 dot find this time i need to use find because i have only one article content okay that's why i don't uh, i don't need to use find all and here i will say find let's go to our content and here Now, if I come to here and if I say right click inspect, as you see now, it is between div text, right? Actually, it is sorry, not it. If the first one is the full content is between div text, right? Div, the class is full. And after that, I have here p text and h2 and h3. So let's check them. If I say only p, for example, can I get all the content? I know, I don't know. I need to check. Okay, this is. They are between p text the other one i think is that one okay that one is the best facebook instant games is between h2 h3 and the others is also p i think if i use only p i can grab full content okay this is enough and let's do it here i will come to here and i will say sub find uh, the div name it is it was div and the class name was class is equal to full right and here i will say class is equal to full now and this in this div what i need to do i need to find my p text right here let's go back here again as you remember i have only one here div right it uh, the class name is full but i have many p text here so now what i need to do here i need to use here again uh, for loop but with find all function okay i will say here for i in item 2 okay that find all and what i need to find i need to find p text okay and after that i will say here print i dot text what I am doing that because I have many p tags here in the, this item, okay, item two, and so I need to use for loop to find all the p tags, okay. That's why I am doing that. And now if I say, if I run it and let's check it, we have full content or not? Something is actually it is slow that's why we need to wait a little bit actually i need to say it's here okay print tag it must be here it's better we 
it's a little bit slow but this is it depends on your uh, internet connection and also the server of website which uh, which one is you are parsing okay that's why and i think it's still working okay this is our title uh, summary content and the picture and i think we also need full content here it is still working let's wait for it and after that we will see and i think we didn't grab our here uh, content so f uh, item 2.sub2.find class name is full this is okay and the for i in item 2 find all p text okay and i said and the print i dot text because i need only text here so what's wrong here let's say if i say here only if i don't use uh, for loop and print item to that text I can also use this function let's check it I think something wrong about my link or something like that here it's fine so response to request that get my link I think that one is Windows it says but it is not Windows let me check it yes it is not Windows this is my link is wrong so I need to say here the link is wrong so there is no Windows so it's only to say link is I think it's now okay if I delete this one let's check it now yes now it's fine as you see now we have this is title this is our summary content and this is our picture right and the other one is our full content is also here this is how we can parse websites and also this is a really nice example because now we parsed our website also we found the link and also we opened that link by python and after that we also grabbed all information which for actually we want to grab from this website so that's uh, uh, it uh, i believe that it uh, it was a really nice example and we learned many things for now that's all see you in the next